Hi to everyone. This is Yakub. Guys, today I am going to explaining you how to write JDBC Java code to insert new record into our Oracle database system. Right? Guys, I am going to showing you one visualization and later we'll see how to insert our record into Oracle database. Guys, here I give a small diagram. You know, guys, before going to writing JDBC code, we required one Java file. I taken here Java file means it is a Java file. In Java file, to enable connectivity and performing cloud operation, in JDBC having a five lines of code, you know already. In our previous application, in our previous application and in our previous video, clearly I explained you. So please understand. So you know guys, uh, to loading driver class, we are using class.farname, class.farname method. And this is our Oracle driver, oracle.jdbc.driver.oracle driver. After loading driver, now we are going to enable the connection with three properties with the help of driver manager class and get connection method. Simple statement connection con is equal to driver manager dot get connection. URL JDBC colon Oracle colon thin colon at the rate local host colon 1521 colon XE and you know guys already we created one database the database name is rose db database password also rose db so i am creating connection with oracle database is called rose db and rose db after enable connection simply i am going to creating the statement to creating statement now i am going to using statement interface with the help of connection interface object okay and after creating statement simply to execute that query in database now i am going to using one simple method the method is called execute update i told you when you perform insert update delete operation and this command if you want to execute java application into database our JDBC API given execute update method. And today I'm going to performing here static query. So simply here I'm writing insert into employee values because of my data database name is employee. And uh, here I have a three columns employee ID, EMP name and salary. So simply I'm creating one query insert into employee values and uh, that values are i am going to inserting id is nothing but a thousand one now name is nothing but a rn and the salary is nothing but a something called ninety thousand. i am going to insert it so from java application to database i am going to performing static query with a insert query so finally i am going to inserting one record from java application to database and you know the final statement is nothing but a con dot close you know guys to enable connection between java application to database we are using simply jdbc api with jdbc api communicating and performing crud operation today I am going to executing insert query from Java application to database, right? And same thing we'll see practically and programmatically. And before that, guys, I will show you in my database. You know, already we created the database name is what? Rose DB and password also Rose DB. In our previous video, we created table that is called employee table and this table we created with uh, three columns first one is employee id next one employee name third one is salary 
and here I given one command uh, query select star employee. So initially in our employee database, we don't have a, any record. Now I am going to insert a Java application to our database, right? Let us see that code practically. Okay. Now I am going to showing you guys simply my code is JDBC Java program for to insert employee record in Oracle database table with statement interface, right? Slowly we'll see that code in our Eclipse ID. Guys, this is my Eclipse ID, you know, previously we created what this application, this application for creating table. And today I'm going to creating one more new class for you. So here is the SRC. Inside we have a separate folder. Okay. And here right click on it. Now go to new and take a class. Today my class name is a insert, insert record, insert record. And you know, guys, we are creating static CRUD application. So we need main method, then do finish, right? Our class is created. Guys, we are working with JDBC API. So initially you can import a JDBC API package. The package name is what? Import java.sql star semicolon because of JDBC API classes, interfaces, methods given in java.sql API. So initially you can do that one. Now I am going to writing the five steps code along with our query. And that five steps code must be right between the try and catch. So here try in case while we are going to connecting database with our database at runtime if you have any runtime exception will be occurred all the runtime error handled with our try block and uh, and uh, catch with our catch block right and so our first statement then i am writing class dot you know for name method this one load our driver class how to sir oracle dot driver oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot driver dot oracle driver same line don't be confused the next one is connection con is equal to the class name is driver manager dot get connection this one having a three properties url that is what jdbc colon oracle colon tin colon at the rate local host colon 1521 colon xe co uh, double quote and comma and here you can use your database name database name is rose db and a password also rose db right and give the semicolon so finally what happens sir our connection statement is ready connection statement is ready now i am creating statement object with the help of connection interface object statement stmt is equal to con dot create statement now my statement object also ready and by using statement object we are creating sql query means insert query finally we are going to executing our query into database right and today i am going to insert means inserting means i am going to using execute update method guys remember execute update method execute your insert update delete query inside the database and after execution, it can return Boolean value that is 0 or 1. That 0 or 1 always stored into one integer variable. So simply I am taking i and stmt dot. My method name is execute update. And here I am writing the static query. 
the query name is what insert insert into employee values i am giving static data so 1001 you know 1001 guys i will show you what data i am going to insert in. right 1001 rn 9000 okay now look at 1001 comma and rn see if you want to giving integer value directly you can give but in database if you want to insert string value you must be keep between the single quote next one i am giving our okay uh, this uh, 9000 90000 value is a floating point value right here double quote and queue like this so simply so this is what static query insert into employee values i am inserting one record okay after inserting simply for getting clarification purpose i am i am giving one small statement i plus here i am writing what sir new record inserted successfully like this i am giving small message guys after this our connection is started now i am going to closing con dot close simple con dot close that's it okay these are five statements we give it so try block try to handle the runtime error and here catch can catch that error so simply you can write exception just you can ex and return that object sysuo like this that's it our code is completed simply you can save it right guys are you here everyone please oracle driver problem okay guys look at here class dot for name i give an driver class and this statement for uh, creating connection and created statement finally i am going to executing this query into my database finally we are getting the response and close the connection right this is the simple application to insert new record into our database right shall we go with execution right save it this application i right click on it and uh, run as a java application let us see output is it inserted or not guys this is the output new record inserted successfully right and uh, after complete this one once we'll check in database is it came or not guys here initially we don't have a, any record right now i am going to hitting same query let us see select star from employee now what happened new record came into our database like this we can insert record into our database and if you want to insert one more record statically then go back here and come to here query and i am inserting one more record 1002 and here i am changing the name changing the name the name is what dilip and the salary is nothing but 80000 again save your application right click on it and run as java application look at here again what happened one more record is inserted again go to go to the database and check it right select star from employee and enter now we can see two records are inserted like this we are going to inserting a new record into our database by using java application to database right i hope you understand guys okay thank you we'll meet again with next video